I don't remember exactly where I was, but it was probably quite close to a glass of alcohol somewhere, I suspect. It was about 2005 that um, I toyed with the idea of doing it, and I spoke to my uh, great friend Philip Feeney, who's the composer of the piece, and said, hey, Philip, what do you think? Do you think we could do something that wouldn't be typical and slightly trite? And he said, yeah. So the, the project began to really develop from there. I get very involved and I start sort of thinking I'm a composer and I start making wild suggestions. And every now and then Philip is so generous, he'll say, that's a great idea, I'll do that. Um, even, I think there was one time or something, where I just said, you know, that tune's great, but just turn it upside down because it just sounds funky. And he went, yeah, I'll do that. And it turned out great. So that was a, a good year of music composition. And then likewise with the designers, the scenery designers, costume designers, it's sharing the script, it's talking about what's going on in my mind. We talk and talk and talk and talk, and what about, what if, and will this work, and, and so on and so forth. He does all the scenic designs, and they all look beautiful, and I love them, and he loves them, and they look great. And then he has to build little models, scale models, and a model of the theatre so we can sit and we can play and say, this will go here and this will move here and I can do this. And, and as with all my productions, I like scenery that moves by the actors and the artists. By now you're into, you know, easily 18 months, two years of time to get this thing done. And then the final part, when I get to go in the studio and create the steps, I get five weeks. Which, you know, as long as I've been doing this job, I've never had more than five weeks to create something. So I feel like there's a gun at my head, I'm running like mad, I'm trying to download all this stuff and create steps. And it's stressful, it's exciting. The company was fabulous, they were so into it, there was, they were just working. Like, what about I can do this? Something? So everybody's involved and that's really exciting. One of the main things that I really wanted to try and establish in doing this production was the sense of a little bit more of the story and I wanted to really think about why was Peter, why is Peter the way he is? What is he looking for? What is, it, what is going on in Peter's life? Which I think people don't necessarily spend too much time thinking about. I think the movies have, but for me it was all that everybody wants a mother. Peter wants a mother, and Captain Hook wants a mother, and the Lost Boys want a mother, and the Pirates all want a mother. And so that transition for Wendy from a child, adolescence into a young lady, and what that relationship means. So that was a very important part of what the production was about. And the idea again that the closeness of Peter Pan and Hook is never really explored enough, but I think they're, they're virtually one and the same. How, what would it take for Peter to become Hook? And we, I make an, a, a suggestion of that at the end of the piece when he picks up Captain Hook's hook and he picks up his hat and he flies into the air and for a moment we think he's, he's going to become the next Hook. Once you gain power, do you, do you use it well, fairly, justly, or do you abuse it?